that dial because the row starts right now. Introducing first, now residing in Chicago, Illinois. She's two-time. She's Lady Luck, the party unicorn. Here we have Diamonds Division action to get the action started. And Lady Luck returning to a reality of wrestling ring. The, uh, the party unicorn. Right? That's right. Drinking dark at the post. Look at that. She looks like she's ready to go to a rave. It's just frequent rave, didn't it? That is not accurate. Oh, and look, she wants to share the party. One of our head officials, and Kelly. And her opponent from San Antonio, Texas. She is the pink dream, Alex Gracia. Well, it's the debut here at the Reality of Wrestling of Alex Gracia. Of course, we saw her at Ladies Night Out. And now she is making her official debut here at the Reality of Wrestling, and she was very impressive at Title Match Wrestling's Ladies Night Out. Alex Gracia looking to make an impact here in the Diamonds Division. Absolutely, Matt, still relishing in her rookie year in professional wrestling, nine months in to the professional wrestling business, and she's already made quite the impact. Female athletes about to lock up here. Go behind from Laney Luck. Waist lock from behind. Oh, and a little dab there, Brad. A little dab action. Remind me of Cam Newell. Oh, roll up here. Here we go. Cover two. Made a kick out. A little one-upsmanship here earlier. One, one woman's upsmanship, perhaps. There you go. Laney Luck, though, the veteran in here. And oh, Alex Grossi, I thought she was going to go for another pinfall right there as well. Oh, big knockdown by Laney Luck. And a little more showboating there by Spolsky. I think that was some flossing. Perhaps she still thinks she's at that rave you were talking about earlier. Alex Gracia cuts her off there. Center of the ring, and she's proud of her work as well. They're, they're curtsying to each other. Oh. Here we go, another roll-up. Cover here, one, two. Some mind games early between Laney Luck and Alex Gracia. Alex Gracia would love a big win here in her reality of wrestling debut. You got to know that the Diamonds Division champion is not far behind watching both of these women. It's the thing about the champ, Hyun, is she always scouts talent. She takes nobody for granted. Oh, here we go, another roll-up. Roll-up here from Alex Gracia, too. Well, Alex Gracia, I believe Matt Sapolsky has been the aggressor throughout this whole match. She's taking advantage of the times Laney Luck is stopping to celebrate or to dab or to what have you. Alex Gracia is getting the upper hand. Oh. A body splash there from Alex Gracia. Reversal sent into the corner here. Oh, and Laney Luck with those forearms and elbows right to the sternum. Perhaps party time is over and she's going to attempt to impose herself on her opponent here. Alex Gracia definitely feeling those shots. Oh, there's another, almost an elbow to the side of the face, like a unicorn. Head of steam here. Oh, and a knee and then a boot. To the side of the head, Alex Gracia goes down. to the face here from Lady Luck, looking to put away Alex Gracia here. She's in trouble. Out, say the She's ring, in trouble. Away, cover one, two. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Two and a half right there, a very near fall. And I agree with Lady Luck, so close. She was just a split second away from getting a big victory right here. Now can Alex Gracia get herself back into this match? Oh, big knife edge chop, man. Well, Laney Luck felt that one. She comes back for another. Alex Gracia, as you pointed out, less than a year here in professional wrestling. Oh, a huge springboard crossbody right there. This could be a huge victory for Alex Gracia. Kick out at two and a half once again. Pump kick right there. And Laney Luck now looking to finish off Alex Gracia. She's going up. High risk, high reward. We say so many times before. What is she going to go for? Oh, man. 
jumping senton of types off the top. Alex Gracia had it scouted. Alex Gracia here now looking to roll through, roll through inside cradle. Into that package cover two. Alex Gracia with a huge victory here in her official debut at the World Gym Arena for Reality of Wrestling. Alex Gracia gets the dub. Here's the pink dream, Alex Rossia. Alex Rossia being featured on the title match wrestling and reality of wrestling joint series ladies night out as well. She's been very impressive since breaking onto the scene here at the world. Here comes the black belt diamond and about permission slips tonight, okay? You're the one who brought it up. Well, I wanted to nip that right in the bud. Let's talk about Jenna Lynn and her progression here at the Reality of Wrestling. Just a year ago, a trainee here at the Reality of Wrestling gym. Boy, you gotta love the evolution of Jenna Lynn as a performer inside the squirt circle. Where's her black belt? She doesn't want to show off. Why not? She's humble. Humble. You can't wear a key to the ring and be humble. Diamonds Division action. To start the action this week on the row, where we may crown a brand new Texas champion later on here tonight. Some controversy surrounding how Gino became the number one contender last week on this program. Nevertheless, he will be in the main event here tonight against Mantell. And these two have got to have their eyes on the Diamonds Division Championship as well, Brad Gilmore. Say what you will about Jenna Lynn. She has been progressing as an athlete in the Diamonds Division. But Alex Gracia getting a lot of looks from some big promotions all over the world right now. Absolutely. It's because, oh, wow, of her talent and ability. I mean, Alex Gracia is... About a year now into her, re uh, not reality wrestling career, her career in professional wrestling in general, and she's already made this much noise. Oh, a miss there. Look at Jenna Lynn. Oh, very impressive reversal. She could do it right here. Center of the ring, cover two and a half. Wow. A lot of times, Jen. Jenna Lynn, also called Rookie Jen. A lot of people like to call her Rookie Jen, but in this match, she is actually the veteran going against Alex Gracia, which is a, oh, wow, interesting turn for her, but look at that, a veteran-like maneuver, though. Shot right there to the liver. Oh! Big drop kick on Jenna Lynn from a seated position. Slips out the back door. These two went into third and fourth gear very quickly here, Brad. Absolutely, and look at that, a big scoop and a slam. Alex Grossi showing a little bit of power. Oh, oh man. Sent on there. This could do it to win it. That could have knocked the breath right out of you. Alex Gracia, though, still the aggressor in this contest between her and Jenna Lynn. Blocks now to the rib cage. We'll give Alex Grassi a lot of credit. She is a methodical in ring worker. Now she is taking apart Jenna Lynn piece by piece here. Somewhere right now. Oh! 
she I'm has to be impressed by what she's seeing here from Alex Gracia. I'm also sure Booker T's watching right now and a monitor somewhere in the back thinking the same thing. How impressive Alex Gracia is right now and maybe she could be in line with a win here for the Diamond Division Championship. Escapes that pin at two and a half, but you can see she is being worn down inside that ring by Alex Gracia. She is imposing her will right now on the black belt diamond. Oh, wow. Here we go, and now, look at that, some sort of almost a sitting sleeper maneuver. Jenna Lynn's in trouble right here, Matt. She's center of the ring, she didn't have anywhere to go. Well, Jenna Lynn has put up a good fight, but she may be out of fight here right now. Alex Gracia just leaning on it. Irish whip Whoa. into the corner. Oh, and a body splash right there from Alex Gracia. Well, here she comes. Boot right there to the chin, and this has got to be all one, two, and now some signs of frustration by Alex Gracia that she doesn't want to do that. She don't want to take her eye off the ball. Let her emotions get the best of her. Oh! Wow. Well, that's a way to come back if you're Jenna Lynn. A couple more of those and no one will be left standing. Uh -oh. Well, I don't know. I think, uh, I think somebody pressed the turbo button there on Jenna Lynn. Jenna Lynn going all Cobra Kai right now. Daniel's son approved. Oh! 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 Jenna Lynn keeps this up. She's going to get her own Netflix special. Oh! Jenna Lynn, come back of the year right here. Two! Alex Gracia gets out of Dodge, but what an impressive. Return to the action here from Jenna Lynn in the last few moments. Absolutely. If she was able to capitalize a little bit quicker on that pin attempt, she might have had Alex Gracia right there. As Jenna Lynn now trying to get Alex Gracia in some maybe sort of DDT maneuver or not. But, oh, wait, Alex Gracia reversal on a big forearm to the chin, to the face. These athletes taking it to the next level here. Oh, my! Northern Lights suplex! going on here? Oh, wait, oh my goodness. Oh, it's like a triangle. Oh, triangle that's a devastating order. submission maneuver. That's got to be it. And she's she tapping. Taps. And your winner, Well, the star of Alex Gracia continues to rise, and you see why. What an impressive maneuver there. I don't know what you would call that, Brad Gilmore. Some kind of a variation of a triangle choke, perhaps. Coming out of that Northern Light suplex and all respect from Alex Gracia. You love to see that. A great sport, Alex Gracia. And a big win for her, impressing a lot of people backstage in here at the World Gym Arena. Mike, the Truth Jackson, for joining us on commentary. What a hell of a fight. And her opponent from Gilbert Town, Alabama, she's And is it a sign, Matt, to Polsky of things to come? Will this be the night of new champions? We're guaranteed a new reality wrestling champion. Will we see a new Diamonds champion tonight? It is very possible. This Diamonds division is ultra competitive. Alex Gracia 
break onto the scene here at Ladies Night Out. And now she has an opportunity here at this Reality of Wrestling pay-per-view, No Limits tonight, to capture that Diamonds Division Championship. But Angela has been through hell and back, including recovering from a devastating injury at the hands of Hyun, to get to this moment right now where she is a two-time Diamonds Division Champion. It's gonna take everything Alex Gracia has to defeat the champion here tonight. Here we go, I talked to Alex Gracia earlier tonight about her big opportunity here on Reality Wrestling Pay-Per-View, No Limits. I said, what is your mindset going into this match against AQA? She said, look here, I'm excited to be back in Reality Wrestling. I just got back from Japan, and I have the utmost respect for Angela, but I truly believe I'm just a little bit better. Well, she's gonna need that confidence if she's gonna defeat Angela, AKA AQA, here tonight. No! Oh! AQA got the, the, the gold and purple on tonight. I don't know if she's a Laker fan, but I, they didn't make the playoffs, man. Did you know that? Well, not only did they not make the playoffs, they lost their president of basketball operations, then they lost their head coach, but hey. Not a, LeBron's show still doing well. That's true, here Cover we go. Here. Kick out before, count of one. Oh, oh nice little trip there by AQA on Alex Grassi. These two women definitely have a lot of respect for each other and also have similar styles. Both very athletic, both very agile. Look at that. Falls through right here. Both shoulders on the mat, kick out of two. Learned a lot out there in her tour. It lasted about six weeks. Look, a sign of respect for the two women. Both very still new in their professional wrestling careers, Matt Tukolsky, but I've already accomplished a lot in a very short period of time, and I, I think that's one of the things that's so exciting about this Diamonds division and certainly about this matchup here for the Diamonds Championship is there's a lot of upside for both of these two oh. young athletes. If they stay healthy, they have long and productive careers ahead of them in professional wrestling. Look at that, though. Interesting pin maneuver from AQA. Still to come tonight, the Reality Wrestling Tag Team Championships on the line, the Cool versus... Oh, hold on a pin. up with a bridge here from AQA. That might be it. Kick out of two. The Cool versus the champions, Warren Johnson and Zach Mason. And what are your thoughts on that, Brad Gilmore? You know, there's been some... Oh! Some dissension in the ranks between Team Fly Death recently. It looks like they buried the hatchet, but then again, you just never know. Yeah, you got to be able to trust each other when you're out there, especially defending your championships. And I think Fly Death, they've always been fighting champs, and they get serious when it's time to. Sprinting European uppercut into the corner there from the champion. Oh, and now a sling blade perfectly executed from AQA. And she, right there, is pointing to the top, calling her shot. What is she doing? Oh, is she going to look for that shooting star press? Well, That's she, what she hit on Ion in that steel cage match, which won her the championship. She is no stranger to the top rope. But it might be a little bit too early in the matchup to go for that. Oh, look at that, though. Oh, it's a 6-1-9 type maneuver and knocked Angela off the top rope. And now Angela grabbing the back of her head and her leg. The champ might be in trouble. Well, it's Gracia right there channeling her. What is she doing? Whoa, her hold her on here. Sweeping the leg and now going to work on that knee. That isn't very nice. It is an interesting strategy, though. If you're going to take any advantage over AQA, try and keep the athlete grounded. And I think that's what Alex Grassi is trying to do right now. Well, here's the thing. If AQA can't get up there, especially try to get that shooting star press. She might not be able to put Alex Grassi away. And now Alex Grassi, a little bit of a mean streak coming out, targeting that left knee. AQA and Hyun had a lot of battles against each other for that Diamonds Division Championship. This is a strategy that worked for Hyun on more than one occasion, and that is to try and ground them. And that, in this case, now the champion. Will it pay off for Alex Grassi? Thank you for joining us for Reality of Wrestling's No Limits. Here at realityofwrestling.com and on Fight TV. We're still gonna crown later on here tonight a brand new Reality of Wrestling champion in that No Limits Battle Royal. We've had an incredible night here so far.
Clay Roberts finally getting that W. And of course, we have a brand new Texas champion. And Alex Gracia looking to make more history here in this Diamonds Championship match. Big shot to the champ, AQA. And now following it up with some shoulder thrust in the corner. Alex Gracia, when she was in Japan, maybe learned a little bit of that strong style. She's coming with some real stiff shots of the champion. The champ's still gripping that left knee. Well, it wasn't clear at first when this matchup began. Well, pin attempts here, cover. Two, and a kick out. It wasn't clear at the beginning of this match what Alex Gracia's strategy was going to be. I think we're seeing it now. She's trying to keep the champion on the ground, keep her grounded, keep her from using that athleticism and that agility and perhaps she'll walk out of here tonight with that Diamonds title. It would be a major upset, but it kind of, that's kind of what the Diamonds division is, really, when you think about it, Matt. Yes. Some of the most surprising wins or some of the most shocking wins have been in the Diamonds division. They have been. It really has been upset City on more than one occasion. This certainly is not Alex Gracia's reality wrestling debut, but her career has been short here at the row. But it could be a lot longer if she wins here tonight. Oh! Well, it can't be longer if she gets too many punches like that to the face. Like a freight train, AQA just running her over. Another sling blade from the champion. Alex Gracia's efforts to keep AQA from firing up here looks like they are not going to work after all. Oh, insecurity in the back of the head. Here we go, pinfall. One, One two, two. That could be all. Oh. Kick out there, about two and a half for Alex Gracia. At one point, momentum was on her side in this match, but no longer. Once the champ got her second win, it's been all AQA ever since. Well, you think about what AQA has been through in her short career here at the Reality of Wrestling, Brad. Uh, now a two-time Diamonds Division champion. She's seen quite a bit from some of the best female athletes this division has to offer. So, she is no stranger to the big moment. Gracia trying to fire back. Looks like she may have grazed her, but didn't get all of it. Oh, wow. Two. Thought we might have had a new champ right there. Very possible, as Alex Gracia is struggling to get to a vertical base. And now, letting out a scream of frustration. I don't know if she thought it was going to be so easy to come out here and beat AQA. Shots now, forearm shots in the center of the ring. Oh. Alex Gracia once again going back to that knee that she worked on earlier in the matchup. AQA trying to fire up, springboard. Oh. Missed the mark right there, swing and a miss. A the challenger. AQA even on a somewhat hurt knee was able to jump in there. Oh, look at this, look at that pump handle. Oh, boom, she got it, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, Cover. that might be all. One, two. in this matchup, but AQA was not about to relinquish that title in her first defense since becoming a two-time Diamonds Division champion. Like I stated at the outset, she walked through hell to get back here, and it's going to take a hell of a lot more to take that title away from her. Very impressive here tonight. Angela still on top of the Diamonds Division. Diamonds Division Champion. She wins the number one contendership here tonight. She's on her way. We have seen Alex Gracia.
Garcia here at the Reality of Wrestling and of course at the Ladies Night Out Series. A very impressive athlete is Alex Gracia and what a fine ambassador she would be for the Diamonds Division if she became the number one contender this week on the row. Absolutely, the pink dream. She had a one-on-one -on -one encounter at that Dynamo Night of Champion show with AQA. AQA, of course, getting the victory. And Alex Grossi would love to be able to get right back involved. Oh, hold on a second here. Well, Angela, the Diamonds Division champion is gonna join us right here on commentary. Well, this is a, a pleasant treat. She wants to come out here and see which one of these great competitors she's gonna be defending that championship against next, and here she is. Welcome to the table. The Diamonds Division champion, welcome. It's nice to have the champ here sitting with us at ringside. Yes, thank you for having me. And that beautiful, brand new Diamonds Division championship yes, belt sir. as well. All right, well, here we go. One of these three women inside the squared circle are gonna get the next opportunity at you, AQA. Is there anybody that you'd like to get inside the ring with? Uh, well, I have faced Alex before, and she's more than just a pretty face, trust me. She hits hard and she hits with precision. I've never got the opportunity to wrestle Roxy or Jenna yet, but I'm pretty sure we can tear the house down if we do. Absolutely. Wait, hold on, what is... Roxy wants to show a little respect here. Very lovable. She is very lovable. 17 years of age. Well, Matt Topolsky, what can you make of what's going on here? Oh, wait, there's the bow. Oh, wait, hold oh, on, Alex Grossi up here. Well, Alex Grossi is not interested in tradition here. Oh, oh my what, what, goodness. What's going on here? That was almost a three count early on. Triple threat match, very unpredictable. Hold on, I, I don't understand what's going on here. There's so many quick pinfalls. And now Alex Gracia trying to put the boots to Jenna Lynn. Well, AQA, you said that Alex is more than just a pretty face. Oh. You're absolutely right. And she just got kicked in the face right there. Roxy from behind looking for potentially a German suplex. Reversal here, standing switch, another reversal. You gotta be impressed here in the early goings. AQ, oh, oh. Roxy is really trying to make her name. I mean, AQA, what do you make of this? I mean, Roxy, 17 years old and already holding her own here in the Diamonds Division. She's a 17 year old sensation. Her and I have a very similar style. And uh, that's one thing that I'm watching out for when I watch her matches, watching her tape and everything, is that I have to watch for her quickness as well because she can get on me just as quickly as she did Jenna and Alex early on in this match. Absolutely, that's the, the benefit of you. Don't count out Jenna, she's an elite Larry martial artist. Larry there from the Pink Dream too. And that would be a clash of styles. I mean, you're known for a lot of high-flying maneuvers also, and, and Jenna Lynn though, she is a martial artist. Mad Tepulci claims she's a black belt. I haven't been able to verify that, but she is a trained martial artist. Nonetheless, and look at that big back elbow. What is, what is the Pink Dream thinking up here? That's Grassi from up top! Oh, my oh. goodness! Here we go. Oh, my goodness, someone's pressing the turbo button here. Oh! That could be all right there. One, two! two. Oh. Roxy there to break it up. Now, you've competed in triple threat matches before. Uh, AQA, what, 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 is the, what is the strategy going in here? Do you try to get somebody out of the way and then focus on another competitor? You always want to bring it down to seamless competition. You always want to get the other person out so you can focus on one person. So now that they have Alex out of the ring, one of them needs to attack. And I think Jenna Lynch trying to take that sage advice from the champ. Oh, some big kicks to the midsection of Roxy. Roxy, though, hangs on that. Oh, went for that insecurity. Roxy. Reversal here, here we go. inside cradle, two, oh my. Oh, wow. Swings her around. 
double knees to the face. Jana Lynn. Both these women kick out. And now Alex Grossi has made her way back into the ring. And AQA, you know, you've walked through the fires of hell to capture that title twice. You've done some very extreme things to now be the ambassador of the Diamonds Division, the Diamonds Division champion. What do you make of this women's evolution here at the Reality of Wrestling? Oh, it's amazing. Everyone is stepping up. They're really making me earn this championship. They're making me prove that I have to show that I can be the champion. I mean, look at the competition that I'm going to have to step in against. Oh, and a big reverse neck breaker there by Roxy on Alex Grazi as she holds on that. And the second oh. one. I think she's going to go for the hat trick. Oh, I don't think the Pink Dream's going to have a neck left when this is over. Swing and a miss. You know, by any means necessary, Roxy goes for another cover. That could be one, over. two. Oh my, the number one contendership less than a second away. Now Roxy looking for a pin attempt here on Alex Gracia. Same result. Well, Roxy is trying her damnedest, Matt Topolsky. She's trying to pull something out here. I would imagine that she'd be the underdog just based on her youth and inexperience. Roxy has a lot to prove. She's 17 years old, so she already has that on her back. So for me, watching her now, she's doing very well. Let's see if she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me if she's going to win this match. And Jenna Lynn, though, taking advantage of the situation. Wait a minute. Jenna Lynn rolls up here, but can't she finish it off? Rolls through. So does the pink dream. Oh! Alex Gracia got all of it! Count to a hundred! Well, now we know. Now we know. Who will face AQA for that Diamonds Division Championship? It's Alex Gracia. How do you feel about that, champ? We'll just see. We'll wait and see. I'll let you know how I feel in the ring when you see us go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There you are, Matt Topolsky, the pink dream. Well, there you have it, AQA. We want to thank you for joining us here on commentary and have a front row seat for the brand new number one contender, the pink dream, Alex Rossi. the biggest win in Alex Gracia's young career to get a championship opportunity this soon out. And to, to, to capture that championship would be massive. But Angela Matipolsky is another one. I mean, their stories kind of mirror each other in a lot of ways. Somebody who had a young career, rocket start to the top, became the champion very early on, and now here she is at the top of the division. Diamonds Division at Reality of Wrestling really is the land of opportunity. We have seen it happen on more than one occasion in which a female athlete has come into this division in their debut wow. and captured that championship. It is certainly not the Pink Dream's debut, but she is still very early on her, in her career here at the Row and has earned this opportunity tonight. 
But look at this, though. Athleticism on display from both ladies. Oh, big arm drag. What about a receipt, Matt Zipolsky? We've seen Alex Gracia lock in that sleeper, or submission hold, rather. But it actually won her this opportunity for the Diamond Division Championship. You gotta think that she's looking to lock that move on to AQA. Oh, excellent oh, pin attempt there from the challenger. AQA came with everything that she had. Oh, wow, drop it right to the face. Well, Alex Gracia coming into this matchup with a tremendous amount of confidence, and you can see it early on. I think she might have AQA rocked a little bit. I don't think that she was ready for this amount of offense so early on in the contest. Well, it certainly has been a flurry of offense here from the challenger. The question is, can she keep the pressure on? Well, if she keeps this kind of offense up, she won't have to keep the pressure on for too long because we'll have a new Reality Wrestling Diamonds champion. Oh, wow, what a lariat, though. Impressive clothesline coming back from AQA on a night in which Will All Day Lockhart will be facing Brendan Steen with pretty much his Reality of Wrestling career hanging in the balance. A must-win situation here in our main event. High stakes in that one, and high stakes in this affair right now with the Diamonds title hanging in the balance. You know, both of these ladies would love to go into that Summer of Champions event as the Diamonds Division champion. It's now almost been six years ago, Matt Topolsky, that the Diamonds Championship was actually, the first champion was declared at Summer of Champions at the inaugural event. We saw Cinema become the Diamonds Champion, and some of the biggest names in the sport have held that title since. Kylie Ray, high Yun included. Impressive submission maneuver here from AQA in the center of the ring. Alex Gracia, though, just clubs out of it. Champion Six is right around the corner. Go to realityofwrestling.com to find out more details on how you can order the pay-per-view, which has changed the course of Reality of Wrestling year over year. It's the hottest event of the summer. AQA looking for that patented monkey flip. Oh, look at that. Either an impressive reversal or the momentum carried her over. Nevertheless, a perfect 10 on the landing there from the challenger. Big dream, Alex Gracia. And AQA's face was that of absolute shock. She did not see that coming at all. Now trying to get back in this match. Champion. Champion struggling to keep pace a little bit here with Alex Gracia. Not something that we expected. Oh my goodness! Oh, for that second round, that could have been it right there! Hey, springboard into a crossbody perfectly executed from Alex Gracia! Oh. Another nice drop kick. The pink dream goal for the cover, man. One, two, the challenger! So close again to capturing that Diamonds Division Championship. You can feel it in the air. The winds of change seem to be blowing into the World Gym Arena. We could have a new Diamonds champion heading into Summer of Champions. Pink Dream now with some forearms to the face of the champ. Returns and goes with that spinning kick. They're oh, feeling oh, the that's a Gary. That one hits to the back of the head. The cover here to retain the title. Make it three. No. Kick out at two and three quarters. But to your point, Brad Gilmore, the vestiges of this battle right now, these battle scars that both of these athletes are suffering. Uh oh. We know what this is, though, Matt Topolsky. Do you think that she has enough left in the tank to go for that? Wait a second! Oh, Chris. Wait a second here! That is formally Kelly! Oh! Notice Rachel Rose! Here at the reality of Fresno! Oh. Super kick the challenger and the champion in the next week. Well, this reality of wrestling diamonds division title match just got thrown to the wolves, courtesy of an opportunistic Rachel Rose. And here.
here we go, live at the World Gym Arena. This kicks off the action tonight for Deep Impact, Brad Gilmore. Soon to be joined by Josh Matthews and Scott Demore, and here she comes. No stranger to the World Gym Arena. Here comes Jordan Grace, Thick Mama Pump. We've seen her a lot at the Ladies' Night Out Center, or the Ladies' Night Out Series, rather. And here she comes out here at the World Gym Arena. Once again, this is the first match between Impact and Reality Wrestling. Some friendly competition this evening. There are going to be a few contests, and we're going to see who is the winner. Reality of Wrestling or Impact Wrestling. And there is Jordan Grace, who is a great competitor. Champion all the way around. Excited to see what she's going to do in the Knockouts division. And she's no stranger to the Diamonds division, and neither is her opponent tonight. There she is, the pink dream, Alex Gracia, recently becoming the number one contender for the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship. And she's gonna kick off the action for the row here this evening. Trained in San Antonio, Texas, did a pilgrimage out to Japan to hone in her craft. She's still a young competitor, only been doing this a little over a year and a half but has already made a great name for herself. As we go, here it is. The bell is rolling, we are on the way in our very first contest of the evening. Alex Gracia versus Jordan Grace. Oh wait, hold on. Show of respect, that's what tonight is about. Tonight is about respect, friendly competition between the reality of wrestling, Booker T's promotion, oh wow. There's the early power, early show of power by Jordan Grace, AKA Thick Mama Pump. That's one thing Alice Gracia, she should have done that scouting report on it. I'm sure she did. She was aware of the strength of Thick Mama Pump. Maybe didn't realize how strong she actually was until she got in the ring. And here's a quick cover here by Jordan Grace. Excuse me, by Alex Gracia on Jordan Grace. Looking for another one and she gets her down one and a kick out. There it goes again, one, two. Alex Grossi trying to use that speed here on early. Trio of drop kicks in Jordan Grace right into the corner and here she goes, Alex Grossi, oh, boom, and a big back elbow. Wait a minute, oh, and a pounce by Jordan Grace. Sent Alex Grossi almost all the way out of the ring. Jordan Grace looks great early. Alex Grossi trying to use that speed and agility advantage that she has. Jordan Grace though, a baseball slide, but she's she's got her on, on her shoulders. Electric chair position, just twirling her around, oh wow! And just right there, face going in the apron. Throws Alex Gracia back in the ring. And here he goes, a cover. One, two, kick out at two. Vicious maneuver there by Jordan Grace onto Alex Gracia. And you can tell Alex Gracia right here, you can tell her bell is rung. She needs to try to get some offense in and then get a second to recover. As Jordan Grace kind of giving her that second. What is she looking for? Crowd behind her. And a beautiful, beautiful suplex. Just holding her up there. Look at the strength of Thick Mama Pump. Flex on the bicep. Oh, into almost a jackhammer. Here we go. One. Kick out after two. Little look of frustration there by Jordan Grace. You know, the thing about it is Impact Wrestling came to play. Reality of Wrestling came to play. We're going to see who has the better squad, who has the better roster between these two companies. And a big airplane spin. Our big swing, excuse me. Oh, throws Alex Gracia over to the corner. Jordan Grace standing tall. Born and bred in Texas. So this atmosphere, kick out after two, this atmosphere does not throw her off at all. What is she looking for now? Another one of those patented suplexes that we've seen her do, but Alex Gracia able to roll out of it. Kicks Jordan Grace off her. Full head of steam. 
It looked like she was looking for that monkey flip there. And Jordan Grace just slaps her in the face. Some right hands. Sit and receive. Alex Gracia, Jordan Grace. Now Alex Gracia trying to get out of there. She's up on, going up to the top rope. Let's see what she does. High risk, high reward, and a big cross body. Not able to go for the cover. That could have ended things right here. Reality Wrestling would have been up 1-0 against Impact Wrestling. Both ladies are down. Alex Grazia may have used all the strength that she had left in her to go for that big cross body off the top rope. Now they're both coming back to their feet. What a match to start us out on Deep Impact. I don't think you want to stand in the ring and trade blows with Jordan Grace. And now a uh, close like doesn't even rock Dick Mama Park. Rolls out of the way though. And a Huracarana. Huracarana. Jordan Grace is now reeling. Alex Grazia. A version of a 6-1-9 there. Here we go, cover. One, two, and oh man. Two and a half. Almost had her right there. Reality Wrestling would have been up to a great lead. But Jordan Grace, a great competitor that she is, a great Texan that she is, able to get the shoulder up. Another shot there by Alex Gracia. Alex Gracia trying to weaken Jordan Grace, but she's got some strong legs. You're going to have to do more than that. Jordan Grace fighting out of this one. Oh, wow. Nice reversal there by Alex Gracia. Trying to get some steam, and a boom, and a big suplex by Jordan Grace. One, two, and a kick out from Alex Gracia. She goes for it again. One, two, and another kick out by Alex Gracia. And frustration might be setting in early for Jordan Grace. Man, big shot there. Oh, and one to the back of the head. Referee better watch that. No shots to the back of the head here in Reality Wrestling. Oh! Looks like she might be hitting there in the upper shoulders. Alex Grossi, though, with a back elbow of her own, cutting Jordan Grace off again. Oh! Jordan Grace returns the favor. What a way to start the action at Deep Impact. Once again, we're going to see what brand reigns supreme at the end of the night. And a drop kick to the kneecap, turning Jordan Grace inside out. Alex Grossi has a chance here at a... Big kick to the face. Let's see. One, two. This could be a three. Oh, man. Almost had her. And now Alex Gracia thinking to herself, what the hell do I have to do to keep Jordan Grace down for a three count? Both women slowly getting to a vertical base. go. Alex Grazia may be looking for a Russian leg sweep. Side Russian leg sweep. Can she get it? Oh no! Looking for that submission maneuver. The pink dream. There it is. I think she, she almost has it all the way locked in. Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace looks like she's not all the way cinched in but it's still having an effect on her. Alex Grazia trying to lock her legs together. And she's able to get that Right leg under the left knee. She'd have this hold completely locked in, but look at the strike. Oh, man. Jordan Grace. One, two, and another kick out from Alex Gracia. And a slap to the face. And now going up top with Alex Gracia is Jordan Grace. Couple big shots. What is she looking for? She got her set up in a muscle buster tight position. Alex Grossi able to get out the last second. Waist lock. Reversal. Another reversal. Now Jordan Grace. Now Alex Grossi. Oh! It's a Geary. Not getting 100% of it, but Jordan Grace feeling the effects. And some chops. Some big chops to the chest of Thick Mama Pump and the Pink Dream really laying them in there. She knows what this win would mean to reality of wrestling. She knows what this win would mean to her career. Runs in the corner, but hold on though. Jordan Grace able to catch her. 
what is she going for here? She's looking to finish Alex Grassi off with a pump handle. One, two, three. Jordan Grace with a huge win, putting up Impact Wrestling one to nothing in this contest here at Deep Impact. More to come. Reality Wrestling still got a shot. But what a tremendous effort by both of these Texans. But by Impact Wrestling's Jordan Grace, Thick Mama Pump, reigns supreme once again here at the World Gym Arena.
she has been proven time and time again she is the best. Tonight, the deck is stacked against her, but that doesn't matter. AQA is up for the challenge. Yeah, definitely. AQA is one of those female wrestlers that you have to watch for. There's a couple uh, you might want to keep an eye on, but AQA, she's the real deal. This is a six carat diamonds invitation. It is one fall to a finish. The first pinfall will crown a new Diamonds champion or AQA will retain. Summer of Champion 6 is live on YouTube. If you like what you see and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and also join in on the conversation by using the hashtag on Twitter, SOC6. We're less than 3,500 people away from reaching that 100,000 mark. And Matt Topolsky, there's a lot of action going on in the ring. Roxy in the pink diamond, Jenna Lynn, Rachel Rose. And right in front of us, the two rivals. Well, AQA just got ejected into that guardrail, courtesy of the Renaissance woman, Hyun. Meanwhile, the 17-year-old sensation and Jenna Lynn inside the ring, trying to put their mark on this matchup. And Ivory, I'm gonna ask you, you know, AQA and you have a history. What can you tell us about her and what we can expect from the champion here tonight and her chances of retaining under these circumstances? Expect to see something crazy. You know, AQA is one of those women that it does not matter who she's working or who she's in the ring with. She's willing to give it her all, as proved in the steel cage match with the shooting star press. Something that you really don't no. see male or female do. So that's just be prepared. Double knees to the corner to Jenna Lynn and Roxy, and then Jenna Lynn gets double dippings. AQA sliding in under that bottom rope. And wait a minute, up here cover. to retain the championship. And another cover, too. Roll up here from the champion. Roll up here from the challenger. Roll up here from the champion. And she takes a strike right to the dome. Thanks to Roxy. AQA is going to have to hold tight onto that title if she wants to retain it here this evening against all five of these women. And now Roxy, the 17-year-old sensation. They are hungry, especially Roxy. Did you guys know that Roxy, to come to this show, caught a greyhound? She caught a greyhound. Incredible. That's passion. That is dedication. Whatever it takes to get you to the building. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. AQA changing direction in midair. Turning that head scissors to her advantage, and now oh, she's, she's in the high road district. Oh. And Alex Gracia out of nowhere pulls out the rug and from under the champion and the pink dream up oh. top. Will it be a dream or will it be oh, a nightmare? Wow. Oh, that's a perfect 10 from and Alex Gracia. Down. And they are down. Well, now Jenna Lynn inside the ring. Pink Dream going One, for the cover. Two. Two. That's a three. Oh, wow. I thought we had a new Diamonds champion. You got to remember, AQA's championship advantage goes way out the window. She does not have to be involved in the decision to lose that title. What an opportunity this is for Jenna Lynn. The biggest stage of her young life. She talked about how just a few years ago, she was sitting at home watching the reality of wrestling on her television dreaming about the opportunity to one day be a part of the roster and now here she is in a championship matchup at the biggest event in row history get this matt topolsky jenna lynn actually for the first summer of champions won tickets to the show via a radio contest and now she here and she is right now incredible look at that energy look at that energy that taekwondo she's she's showing that right now to everyone that she is a threat oh wow she has that experience over here to become diamonds champion Hi young makes the save Hi young would love to recapture that diamonds championship like you said that she lost to aqa many months back oh wow great takeover there from Hi young on a gentle lynn oh, and she's looking to finish it looking to finish it here oh. beauty sleep Beauty sleep from That's high on. That's going to be all. One, two. Rachel Rose gets involved. And what a Game of Thrones moment we have here between House Rose and the Renaissance woman. 
Rachel Rose says, you want some? Boot to the face! Oh, and Rachel another one. Rose with a bicycle kick that just put high on an airplane mode. These women did not come here to play. And another one. Rachel Rose standing tall, showing why she deserves to be on this stage. And Roxy. Oh, double knees, Matt. Well, Roxy just crashed that super kick fiesta right there. Could you imagine, at 17 years old, barely old enough to drive, she could walk out of here tonight, Diamond's champion. Oh, feed trigger knee. Just look at the pet. I'm, I'm so excited for all of these women no matter who wins i'm just excited to be here and just look at this passion you can't help but feel you know some kind of weight this takes me back this takes me back like i said summer of champions is definitely what you guys should be watching right now roxy climbing to the top with family in attendance she's looking to nervous read. excitement oh she man. pulled it off Moonsault to win the diamonds title high on pulls out the referee wow high on that veteran instinct she knew it was this close that's the vet but now aqa is in the ring roxy had it won aqa looking to stand her ground and retain the title oh oh aqa was looking for that pin attempt roxy rolled out of the ring Look out here! Oh, oh bicycle kick! Pushing it to the off and another! I think she's trying to relocate her. Out big of spear! Texas. Big spear from one of the challengers with the pink dream from behind! Alex Grazia looking to finish it off here! One, two, three! 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 Why, why are you out here tonight to watch this match? I just want to 
want to get some scope on the talent. I've been actually in the ring with Roxy before at Ladies Night Out. I've actually never been in the ring with Alex Gracia. Roxy Matt has the opportunity to become the youngest champion in the history of this organization. And this organization has a 17-year-old ever captured a championship in professional wrestling outside of the reality of wrestling? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It probably hasn't happened. I'll tell now you what, it would be quite a story, perhaps the story of the year. You know, I, that's not to write Roxy off. If you guys remember, Gino was the youngest reality of wrestling champion. Absolutely. And look what he grew to become. I can see that in Roxy as well. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I think Roxy has all the tools. She's still raw, she's still green in a lot of ways, but she is a tremendous athlete. And I, I mean, I gotta say, I don't know what you were doing at 17 years old, but I can tell you this much. I wasn't taking Greyhound buses to, to wrestling promotions all over the state of Texas and showcasing my talent, and great talent it is, kick out here at two. Roxy is, who knows what she will be doing in the next few years. I think there are a lot of title runs in her. But the question is, is it too much too soon? I mean, when you're 17 years old, you already have an opportunity at the One. biggest championship in the division. Is it? Is it? Is the moment going to overcome? Is it? Is it too overcoming for her? One, two. I don't think it is. I say that she's been in the ring since she was 13 years old. That's Essentially, only four she's years. she's Alex Gracia's vet in my eyes. Alex Gracia, of course, is very young in her career, not only in reality wrestling and professional wrestling in general. Well, let me get your thoughts on this, Ha Young. You're a former two-time Diamonds Division champion. You've been in positions before. Certainly, you remember your first and your second title defense. This is only Alex Gracia's second title defense. What kind of butterflies do you think she's experiencing in this one? I think she has a lot to prove. Let me remind you, she didn't pin AQA at Summer of Champions. She didn't pin the champion to become the champion. So I feel like she has an uphill battle to prove herself as the best Diamonds Division champion there's ever been. Well, you're absolutely right. And speaking of AQA, Roxy did beat AQA at Ladies Night Out to get this opportunity against Alex Ross. Alex Ross has successfully defended her championship at the same event. Both challenger and champion testing each other early here. Diamond's title hanging in the balance. A very special night of action continues as we get you set, as we set the table for Rise to Wrestling Royalty. Rex Andrews and Aiden Cristiano will be in action later on here tonight, as well as Brendan Steen and Clay Roberts in tournament action, too. There you go. Roxy was trying to go for that arm drag, not able to get it. Cover here, the champion to retain. Roxy slips out the back door. Oh! I like Roxy, I really do. It just seems to me that she just needs a little bit more guidance, a little bit more attitude. You sound like you're on a recruiting mission out here. I mean, I like the kid. I've been in the ring with her before. I've been impressed. But she still needs a little bit more. Well, I mean, I, I mean even though you said she is, is this a soft spot from the Renaissance? I, I know, I'm a little bit. I see a back. little bit of myself in her. She just needs to, you know, just a little bit more attitude. She needs, you know, you can bend the rules a little bit. Well, I don't know if that's, well, that's great advice. That's, that's certainly up for interpretation. Alex Gracia here, looking to retain against the 17-year-old sensation. Roxy, trying to stay alive. She would love to take that Diamonds Division Championship back to the valley on that Greyhound bus. Hooks the leg again here. Well, hi, hon. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this question. Regardless of who wins this matchup here tonight, are you going to demand a title shot for that Diamonds Division Championship, perhaps, at the rise of Wrestling Royalty. Absolutely. I was there at the first ever champions when we crowned the first ever Diamonds Division Champion. I helped build this division to what it is today. I trained these girls, okay? I've been to Japan. I've done everything for this division. More than anyone in that locker room has ever had. So, yes, 
I deserve my shot. She makes a strong case. Cover Cover here the challenger! Oh my, headlines about to be written by the 17-year-old. But the pink dream presses pause on that, and the match continues. Grazia getting frustrated. Roxy got the better of her. Looks like oh, Roxy's working those right ropes. here. Oh, high knee to the jaw. That, that could, could be, be it. A new Diamonds champion to be crowned. Roxy. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. I thought that was it. I did too. I mean, Roxy obviously did by the look on her face, pleading with the referee, Isaac Bouillon. This young lady has an opportunity to be crowned Diamonds Division champion before her senior prom. Shocking. Well, I mean, the Diamonds Championship would be a little bit better than a class ring. Most definitely. Especially for high school. Oh, what's she going for? What's she going for? I think she's going for that boot salt. takes out the landing gear there. And now the champion. Looking for the pink dream. Pink dream, she's gonna put me to sleep. Roll up here for the challenger! New Diamonds champion, though. I think that might be the point. Here we go, roll up. Oh, she's gonna go for the pin right there, and a big kick to the dome. A shining wizard. Champion Alex Gracia, you have called your shot and you have demanded it. We will see if the office grants you that opportunity. Well, I am standing up. Almost getting face to face with the pink dream. Wait, hold on now. Hold on here. Some trash talk from the Renaissance woman to the pink dream. But as far as Roxy goes, back to the line, kid. Thank you very much to Hyon for joining us here tonight at the broadcast table. More action still to come on the Go Home edition of Reality of Wrestling on the road to the rise to wrestling royalty. Let's unpack this next match for the viewers at home. The Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship is up for grabs. The Pink Dream, Alex Gracia, has become the new face of this division. And quite frankly, that pisses high on off. She is a former two-time Diamonds Division Champion. Some could argue the best ambassador the division has ever had. And the Renaissance woman wants that title back something bad. Matt Polsky, I want to give a big shout out to RC for giving us a super chat. He said the sh show has been great, so has the commentary. Thank you, RC, for that super chat. Still pretty new to the game, Brad Gilmore, but you can't call her inexperienced anymore with that Diamonds title strapped around her, and she has earned it. Has also had two successful title defenses of that Diamonds Division Championship a few weeks ago in her latest defense. Hyung sat ringside with us and made it very clear she was gunning for that title. Well, here we are. Big shout out to Cedric 
On our super chat, he said, embrace the hashtag pink dream era. And it sure has been the era of Alex Gracia since she came into her reality of wrestling, winning that championship at our last live stream, the Summer of Champions. Second title defense. Right now live on YouTube at the Rise to Wrestling Royalty. Thank you to everyone for joining us. And if you are new to the reality of wrestling, please click that subscribe button. And join us for live updates. Clips from the Hall of Fame with Booker T and Brad Gilmore. Episodic television from the reality of wrestling and so much more. And thanks to over 150,000 subscribers who have made Reality of Wrestling one of the top viewed wrestling platforms in YouTube history. That is a huge honor. We're thankful for being recognized as the pink dream Alex Gracia has to go up against, I think, her biggest challenge yet. I mean, Hai Yun. No doubt about we're, it. You know, we've been talking about the MLB Championship Series. Hai Yun is a five-tool player. I mean, she can do everything that you need to do inside that squared circle. That's why they call her the Renaissance Woman. So it would be interesting to see what Alex Gracia's strategy is against Hai Yun here this evening. And I, I would think, I mean, no disrespect meant to Alex Grassi, but I would think if I'm high young, I'm coming into this matchup supremely confident. I have owned this division. I have been the major player in this division. I have run this town for an extended period of time. And here comes this new, what she believes is an untested product, grabbing the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship. She may be looking at this and saying, this is gonna be a short night of work. She very well could be Matt Topolsky, but you never want to underestimate your opponent. That's how you always take your eye off the ball and lose. As Alex Gracia, honestly though, Matt, has been in control here this evening so far. Oh! Well, until that. High on, definitely the stronger of the two. Earlier this year it was in Japan. Alex Gracia did the same thing. She was in Japan early on in her career. Both these ladies. have been in all kinds of environments. Is Alex Gracia looking to go a little high risk, man? Oh. Alex Gracia with a hurricane Conrada from the ring apron to the outside. Whatever it takes. And she's gonna have to tap into a new gear if she is going to successfully defend that Diamonds Championship against the Renaissance woman. I think she knows that now. Oh, look at that, and high on caught her. Maybe that moment of hesitation from Alex Gracia cost her. That's exactly right. Backbreaker here, cover. Kick out. Vertebrae of that lower back being rearranged by the challenger. Hi Young just putting the boots to the pink dream right now. And this dream may turn into a nightmare here very quickly. Alex Gross has got to get Back in this one, and oh, and a big chop from High Young. And High Young likes it, look at that. It hurt her hand, but she loved the stick. High Young, the first woman in reality of wrestling history to defend that Diamonds Championship inside a steel cage. She wasn't successful that night but she still has that feather in her cap of being a trailblazer for the Diamonds division. Alex Gracia would like nothing more than to put a W in that win column against Hyon here tonight to really prove that she deserves to be Diamonds division champion. Look at that roll up. Back remind here, inside cradle to defend that title, kick out of two. And Alex Gracia trying to get back in this one, and she's starting to fire up Matt Topolsky. Oh, high on cut her off again. Well, I'll tell you what, Brad Gilmore. I'll hold the phone here. CTE! Oh! And the champion may be out cold. One, two! Two, thought there might have been a three count there as Alex Gracia really reeling after that big knee 
from high up. You know, I was going to say, Brad, Alex Gracia has not looked the same since that moment of hesitation on the second rope, which ended up in a backbreaker. Ever since then, she's been favoring that lower back. She's been moving gingerly inside the ring and high on. Like, like a shark, she smells blood in the water, and she's looking for the big finish here. Absolutely, and Hyun has put it on her. Nice suplex with a bridge. The champion slips out momentarily. Alex Grossi has a lot to fight for. That Reality Wrestling Diamonds Championship is on the line. She also recently made it to the finals for the search of Maxim Magazine's next cover girl, but she needs to prove tonight that she's more than a pretty face, as she's done on many occasions, and here she is. She's about to prove it right now, Matt Topolsky. A little homage. Thought she was gonna go for the 619 maneuver, and now she's jumped on the back. Sleeper hold here from the champion. Alex Gracia, ironically enough, trying to put the master of the beauty sleep to sleep right now and successfully defend that Diamond Division Championship. Well, she got that pink dream locked in tight. Hyun seems to be fading. Alex Gracia, this seems like almost like a desperation oh, maneuver. Hyun's gonna oh. Be, oh! She was just a second away from counting sheep. Wait a second! She still got it locked in. Hyun thought that she was done with her, Alex Gracia. And the official's gonna have to be very careful to look at that and make sure he is a sleeper hold and not a choke. Hyun slips out. Somehow, Hyun able to get out of that, but she's still reeling from it. She's definitely slowed down a lot. Alex Gracia back elbow. Pink dream right there, baiting in the challenger. Slides underneath. Alex Grossi now building some momentum. Can she start to stack the offense and successfully defend that title? Ayun going to the outside. You wonder if that's instincts or that was desperation. Brad Gilmore both of these female athletes look spent. They have left it all out here tonight with the Diamonds Championship up for grabs. Oh, Pink Dream. Hyun gave her a boost up top, and now, oh! Springboard off the second rope to the outside, and the Pink Dream feels it that she could Again, retain right here. That offense that we talked about, she's taking it to another level here tonight. Hooks both legs to defend the Diamonds That's Championship, it. no! Kick out of two and three quarters. Alex Grossi. Leaving no stone unturned in her pursuit of defending that championship against the Renaissance woman. I want to thank everyone watching right now. Look at that. Hyun holding on to the apron. Referee distracted and a right to the eyes, Matt. Oh, Hyun. Hyun took advantage here. Looking for beauty sleep. Roll up for the champion. She's going to do it now. No. Well, I thought that Hyun was going to hit that beauty sleep after distracting the ref. Oh, big European uppercut. What a shot there from the challenger. Got her in a torture rack. Oh, it just slams her down. Hyun won. Two, no! Grossi looking for a backslide. Wait a minute. Beauty Sleep! This time, one, two, three! She will be counting sheep! And your winner and you, Diamond Champion, Hyun! Brad Gilmore tonight, the 
Renaissance woman! Hands grab the diamond! Not once, not twice, but three times! Hyun has become only the second three-time Diamonds Division champion in the history of reality of wrestling! Incredible performance by Hyun! Definitely solidifying her spot as one of the greatest diamonds we've ever seen here at the row. New champion here tonight at the Rise to Wrestling Royalty. A high stakes meeting in the Diamonds Division with the winner having the opportunity to be crowned the number one contender as the action starts this week. Big Dream Alex Gracia, who won that Reality Wrestling Diamonds Championship in 2019, would love to be a two-time champ in the new decade. Two women are going to face the Renaissance woman, Hai Yun. Here we go. Pink Dream, Alex Gracia from San Antonio, Roxy from Laredo. And you hear that chant, Prodigy, Matt? That's what they are calling. Oh, look at that. Great move by Alex Gracia. That's what they've been calling Roxy. Diamonds division has given rise to some of the top female athletes in the world of professional wrestling today. And I think it goes without saying, Brad, that these two are going to be massive superstars in the sport of pro wrestling for a long time to come. Absolutely, and so many women have tried to capture that Diamonds Championship. Uh, Ember Moon, current WWE superstar. Tessa Blanchard has had an opportunity at that Diamonds Championship. So many women from around the world want to come to Reality of Wrestling to try to be the Diamond. Now both these women still in a feeling out process. They've wrestled each other several times, Matt Topolsky. And I think the more, the more you see an opponent, the harder it, it, it becomes to try to get an offense on them because they already know what to expect from you. So you have to innovate, you have to create, you have to come up with new techniques in order to get that victory. Look at that by Roxy. Impressive. Roxy. Into a schoolgirl here, too. Only chain and amateur wrestling in this match. Roxy and Alex Grossi have traveled up and down the road in the state of Texas. And of course, featuring here at the Reality of Wrestling in some high-profile matches against one another. Oh, wow, and a little gamesmanship there from the Prodigy. <laughs> I like it, Matt Topolsky. You gotta do whatever that you possibly can to get the advantage on your opponent. That means a little mocking, a little mind games. Oh, wow, never hurt anybody, unlike that. A big Euro uppercut to the Pink Dream. Rossi getting out of the way, Matt. Alex Rossi there. Oh! Getting out of that corner like Brexit. Cover here. One, two, kick out. Alex Gracia has captured that Diamonds Division Championship. Her reign was short, but nevertheless, she has tasted gold. 
And I think she would want nothing more to become number one contender and face high on yet again. Uh, you're absolutely right. And the thing about the Diamond Division Championship for Alex Gracia, it was her first championship. In attempt here, hooks both legs, but a kick out at one. That she ever won in her short career. In your first Matt Polsky, you're always a little bit sentimental about it. You always try to want to relive it. You want to try to get it back. And I think that you're absolutely right that winning this match could be a great start to her new decade here in 2020. Attached right now to Alex Gracia like Velcro. Gracia trying to block it. Spider Woman action right there from the pink dream. Oh, wow. Oh, a neck breaker of her own. Reverse neck breaker cover. One, two, to become the number one contender. And Alex Gracia gripping at her own neck, Matt Topolsky. You want to know? I mean, it makes you wonder how much damage that she may have taken right there. Walking around the ring trying to figure out her strategy for Roxy. Oh, what a big kick to the face, does it? A little bit of a mean streak for the Pink Dream, Matt. And she needs to go there. She will. Whoa. This is a submission maneuver. Matt, I've never seen this. I talked about creativity. Rolls it up into a pin. Wow. Grassi again. Another pin attempt here for the Pink Dream. She holds on to it again. One, two. My goodness. A submission and three pin attempts. Perfectly executed from the Pink Dream. Going for broke here to become number one contender for the Diamonds title. I mean, why not? Go for it all here. Swing and a miss. Oh. You talk about Alex Grassi can go there as far as mean streaks go. Can Roxy kick it into gear? Can she go to the next level? Roxy with a Russian leg sweep. That could be all. One, two, do we have a new number one contender? We do not. So close. The last thing you want is to be frustrated in a big match situation like this. And Roxy seems to be letting us get to it just slightly. Roxy with a pin here of her own. Did she get her? No. Cover here for the pink tree. Here we go. Looking for a little six one. Nine. She got it. Alex Gracia looking to put the exclamation point oh. on this one. Look at and that. Set on to become number one. She had it there. Impressive. Impressive by Roxy to be able to kick out of that. Equally impressive move. If Roxy has proven anything, is that she is as tough as nails. Oh. This girl has tremendous heart. Well placed knee strike right there that may have turned the lights oh, out man. on the pink Thank three. You. And she could be dreaming right oh. now. by the athleticism 
of this young lady who has broke on the scene and has made her mark both here at Reality of Wrestling and, of course, on Title Match Wrestling's Ladies' Night Out program. It's the Pink Dream, Alex Gracia. Speaking of New Year's, the 17-year-old sensation has broken into the 18th of her young life. Imagine being 18 years old and now having more than a year of experience under your belt in the world of professional wrestling. Roxy still taking the Greyhound bus to get here, but she is one of the hottest up and coming prospects in women's professional wrestling. Absolutely, gotta love Roxy, who's made a name for herself in a very short time in her career. Also gotta give a big shout out to Marie on our super chat who said, love Row all the way from New York City. Q is gonna take it tonight. Already people excited about that Will All Day versus Q match later on. Shout out to NYC. What a story for Hai Young. What a resume she has put together. Hai Young has become the cornerstone of the Diamonds division. This is her division now, Brad Gilmore. She has opposed her will on everyone that she has stepped inside the squared circle with. And she is a three-time Diamonds division champion, sharing that accolade with only one other athlete, Kylie Ray. Absolutely, and they are without a doubt the two greatest diamonds in the history of reality of wrestling. But you talked about it earlier, Alex Gracia, she's had that reality wrestling gold before. She would love to get it back. And Roxy, hungry to get it for the first time, Matt Topolsky, and Hyun's chances aren't great at retaining it from a mathematical perspective. Like I said before, 33% instead of 50. Absolutely and talk about it in bouts like this, the championship advantage, and it goes out the window when you could virtually not be pinned and still lose your title. That could very well happen here. Well, a, lot of, a lot of bad blood between Alex Grassi and Hai Yun. I think that you're not going to get a lot of respect from Hai Yun. She didn't have respect for anybody. That's why she's won that championship three times. She didn't care who she's in the ring with. She's out to do one thing, and that's win at any cost. body there for the pink dream. Roxy <laughs> just, just dumping Alex Gracia out of the ring like a sack of potatoes. Not a lot of sportsmanship there either. And Roxy trying to, oh, there it goes. Great athletic maneuver from the 18-year-old. together here and start building some momentum in this match. Shout out to Moses Trevino who just donated there on the Super Chat. And Roxy double knees to the face, man. Also, Rodzilla said, good show so far. We appreciate your donation, Rod. Again, we're prioritizing Super Chats as these two women brawl on the outside. Was that the Rodzilla? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a suicide dive from the now 18-year-old sensation who looks to catch would be for Roxy and her family live and do it. No, a kick out, barely a two. Roxy has the Diamond Champion one on one right now, and a big rake to the eyes for the Renaissance woman. She is focused. The look of intensity in the eyes of Hyung spells a story of someone who has earned it. No question about it. And now standing at the top of the mountain in the Diamonds Division as a three-time Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division champion, she is not going to relinquish that title without one hell of a fight. Well, you know what? Wrestle Vlogs on our Super Chat says Roxy for the win. It's her time. We will have to see right now Roxy. Oh, right into Alex Whip. Grossi. Look Alex at that. Alex Grossi can't stand. <laughs> she can't get back in the ring, Brad. Alex Gracia laid out flat. As the Diamonds match continues. 
continues and retains Ayala. one, two. Roxy just breaks the pin. Alex Rossi on the outside, writhing in pain. Desperate to get back into this matchup. She gets cut off on the ring apron every attempt. Now Roxy ejected into that corner by the champion. Ayan's confidence starting to build here. And then the rug is pulled right out from under the champion, courtesy of the Pink Dream. Now Alex Gracia climbing up to the penthouse level here. Talk about stories, Brad. Alex Gracia has an opportunity to be crowned a two-time Diamond Exhibition champion here tonight. Look at that. Little 619, shout out to Rey Mysterio. Shining Wizard, this could be all, man. One, two! Roxy getting in there and providing the narrow escape for the Renaissance woman. Inadvertently, she wasn't trying to save Hyun, she was just trying to keep this match going. She is successful on that attempt. Absolutely. And now all three of these women back inside the ring. Trying to get to a vertical base and exchanging shots. Oh, look at that big uppercut from high on. No, no, no. Devastating knee strike. And then Roxy just powered down all three athletes, gasping for air. Wearing the battle scars of this triple threat match for the Diamonds Division Championship on a night when every single reality of wrestling title will be defended. You are watching Christmas Chaos live on YouTube. Don't forget that main event is gonna take place inside the confines of a steel cage, but we're up to a count of seven, Matt Topolsky. Well, it looks like Alex Grossi was able to get up before the count of 10. Both women still down the corner and a big shot. Alex looking for the sequel there. Hyun got out of the way. Oh, oh a devastating man. neck breaker in the corner. Could be lights out for one of these two challengers, Roxy. Oh, look at that. Roxy, though, may should have gone for the cover right there. She had Hyun rocked. Roxy's got some fire in the belly. Will it be enough to light an inferno that could help her capture the Diamonds Division Championship? She's got the Renaissance woman up on her shoulders here, Brad. Alex Gracia from the top! Oh my goodness! It's, and high on with Samoan dropped by Roxy by proxy. And a cover. One, two! My goodness, another near fall. Now Alex Gracia tries to pin the champion and make a real statement just to count of one. Goes back this time to Roxy and a count of one. Alex Gracia, fourth pin attempt in a row here. This time two, still not enough and the match continues. My goodness, a fever pitch pace for the Diamonds Division Championship between two very special athletes that are capturing the attention of the Row Nation. Look at that. High on, oh my goodness, just throwing her into the turnbuckle. And there's that big knee. This is going to be all right here. Terminal velocity on that strike in the corner now. Hi on with a brain buster! A brain buster from the Renaissance woman! Hits the breaker box on the challenger! Oh my no, god! No, still not enough! Somehow, some way, the pig train sleeps out! Gotta give a big shout out to Mr. RIP1979 or Mr. Rip1979 says, Looking forward to see Brian Keith defend his title in the case tonight. Hashtag Cowboys Do Fly as Hi Yun get into it with the referee. Frustration, painting a blueprint here for Roxy, the challenger, schoolgirl from behind, to become Diamond Submission Champion. Roxy so close. Roxy hanging on here, that grip by her fingertips desperately. She is on the edge of a cliff here. She is trying. Not to allow High to get her in that Alabama slam position. But wait a minute, she count she counters it. She shifted away Matt the Bosky. Oh, a Canadian destroyer in the center of the ring for the 18-year-old sensation to catch it. the Diamonds oh, title. My no! Goodness. No! A near fall of near falls and the match continues. So close.
close. The 18 year old doing everything that she could. You are looking live at a war between two, between three very special female athletes vying for the Diamond Division Championship right now. Wait a minute, she's got her up on her shoulders. for the second she got time! No. Roxy slips out the back door. Can you believe what we're seeing? I can absolutely believe it. David Scott Lane says the row always delivers great matches, and I have to agree with him. This has been a phenomenal contest between these three women. And now Alex Gracia trying to put her to sleep. Wait a minute. It's like Alex Gracia may be seeing pink oh, right there. there. That's it. That's it. Roxy's got her. Oh, no. You want to talk about dreams? Here's the beauty sleep. sleep. Center of the ring. One, two. The renaissance continues. Here is your winner and still the Diamonds Champion, Kai Yon. What a master class of athleticism. The reality of wrestling is the blue label of professional wrestling. You are watching it live and for free. And what about that title defense from high on Brad Gilmore? Incredible. As you said, the renaissance continues. A, a great effort and a great win by high on. I can't discredit though what we saw from Alex Gracia and from Roxy. They both had that championship in their grasp at the post. They were seconds away from it. But Ion walks out the victory. Right now, 